Okay, as of like five minutes ago, I've tried to shoot this video already three different times. I guess I'm just kind of nervous about making this because I feel like I have some really important stuff to say and reflect on. I just graduated from high school about a little under two weeks ago and for the past couple months I've been really reflecting on like my high school experience and my overall experience just in school in general and also as much as I hate talking in front of the camera I really really like to edit videos and I didn't have anything to edit so I guess that's a good excuse to do this. High school was just a very interesting experience for me. I had a lot of really good like one-time experiences like going to state with my cross-country team but I think overall a lot of times in high school I felt really lonely I felt like an outsider and but I got like thinking on this and I kind of started to realize that over time I'd actually kind of made myself an outsider I'd closed myself in and like pretty much refused to talk to other people because I was just so scared that they were already judging me and that they weren't gonna like me and I think this kind of bad attitude that I had followed me for a really long time and as soon as I was able to pinpoint though that like that was my attitude and not reality I was able to think back and kind of figure out why that was and that's kind of what I'm gonna do today Honestly, the roots of that mindset go back for me all the way to like fourth or fifth grade. And I went to a private Catholic school. Um, everybody was upper middle class, almost everyone was white. And I think a lot of them were fairly closed minded. But honestly, there were some nice people at that school as well. So going into fourth grade, I had my best friend who I'd known since kindergarten. and. We were just so close and we did everything together. We didn't really have other friends. But I remember this one day, just in specific day, exactly what I was doing. We were watching a movie in our fourth grade class and I remember just thinking to myself and realizing that there were certain kids in my class that were more socially apt than me and had more play dates, more friends than me. And I was able to kind of label who those kids were right away. I was the kind of kid that was I kind of struggled socially, I was kind of socially awkward. I really liked movies, I really liked books, and I always saw that in like those preteen books there was always that stereotypical, like, popular girl villain. In my head, I labeled those girls who were more socially apt and more, just had more friends as like the evil popular girls, essentially. And I think this was really what started the, my really bad mindset. It's gonna make a lot more sense later, I promise. Going into fifth grade, I decided that I really wanted to become a popular girl. I really wanted to be included and go to all the play dates and you know, kids were starting to date, whatever that means in a fifth grade sense. So I ditched my best friend and I went and started sitting at the popular lunch table and just putting all my resources into trying to be their friend. I got all new clothes to look like them and like I just was constantly policing like what I was saying, what I was thinking because I wanted to impress them. That did not work at all for me. Those people weren't necessarily mean to my face very often but they were very exclusive. They would, I would sit at their lunch table but nobody would talk to me. I would just kind of eat in silence at the end of the table and they would, you know, hang out on weekends and I would be invited to do this stuff. And I started to feel really upset and really left out and really hurt by how they were excluding me because I felt like they were supposed to be my new friends. They were supposed to be including me and stuff since I regarded them so highly as like the most popular girls in the school and like the people I wanted to be like, I started to see myself as like a loser, as inherently lesser than they were. I firmly believed that they were like just destined to be better than me. And I really, really internalized that and my self-esteem just started to dip a lot. 
in all facets of my life, I began to see myself as just this loser that whenever I was would walk into a room, I assumed people could sense that I was a loser. I felt like people were judging me before they even knew me and that everyone could just tell, oh, I was inherently lesser than others. Yeah, coming out of eighth grade, my self-esteem was just very low, felt very lonely, and going into ninth grade, that unfortunately followed me. I really think high school could have been a really great turning point for me to meet new people, make new friends, and just kind of figure out a new like self perspective on myself. I ended up going to public high school though, and it was a huge culture shift from the school I went to for elementary and middle school, which I honestly think was for the better. It was so much better for me. And again, I really think I could have had just an amazing, even better experience than I had had I just gotten rid of the just very negative, very like self-deprecating mindset that I developed in middle school. Going into high school, I pretty much, I looked around for the first few days and I was able to label who I believed were the new popular kids ba just based on the way they acted and dressed. If, if they did so in a way that was similar to the popular girls from my old school, I assumed like, oh, these are the popular kids, these are the kids that are naturally better than me. And by that point, I'd become really, really resentful towards the people that I labeled as popular. Because, like, for me, even though these labels were something I created in my head, they carried so much weight because those were the people that I genuinely thought were better than me. I had really begun to hate these people, and I never even introduced myself because I thought so deeply in my head that, oh, they think I'm a loser they would never want to be caught talking to someone like me. I did make a couple friends through my cross country team, which I think by far cross country was the best experience that I had in high school. But I did have maybe two or three friends at a time, but I pretty much would not even talk to anyone else. Like I wouldn't talk to people in my classes. I wouldn't talk to people in the hallway just because I still felt so much like people automatically didn't like me, people automatically wouldn't want to associate with me because like the, that attitude was so deeply rooted in who I was. I was able to like label what I thought other people were right off the bat, like if they were safe to talk to or if they were like popular. So there were so many people in my classes and my school that I never gave a chance because I was just I was the one that was being judgmental, pretty much. I was saying, oh, these people are popular, so they're never going to like me. Um, at the end of my sophomore year, two of my really close friends graduated, and I, w I was left. I had one close friend, but a lot of times she was doing other things, so I, would, I was starting to feel just so, so lonely and so, so frustrated that I had such a hard time making friends with people, and I couldn't really pinpoint why it was so hard for me. Sophomore and junior year, I kept becoming even more resentful of people who were going to parties and getting lots of Instagram likes and the people that I still labeled the popular people, I became just even more resentful of, even more angry towards inside because I just felt like it was unfair that I didn't get to have those experiences. But what I didn't realize was the whole time I was blocking myself from those experiences by having such a bad and rigid attitude attitude by labeling people and putting people in categories. It really wasn't until my senior year this year that I realized like what kind of attitude I had and what kind of problems were just all in my head that were making me just so depressed. I think one of the best things that happened senior year is I got really close with the girls on my state cross country team. A couple of those girls were actually girls I'd initially labeled as popular, girls I'd been jealous of and scared of, and my cross country teammates became like some of the closest friends I'd ever had. And that really got me thinking about like my perception of other people. Like I'd been so upset all this time that I thought people perceived me as a loser and that they weren't including me, but the whole time I had been shutting everyone out 
because I was perceiving everyone as stuck up and popular and people who'd never want to associate with me. So I never even gave so many people a chance. All the problems and the exclusion and like the being a loser that I felt and thought for so long was everybody else's fault. It was really just all in my head and that was really kind of hard to come to terms with that but also gave me a really big insight on like you know I can change this I can make things better without anybody else around me even having to change because so much of this I created obviously my bad mindset of thinking that I'm lesser than other people and that people are more exclusive than they probably are in real life. That still follows me, but I've been able to pinpoint why I think this way. When I'm having these thoughts that like, oh, that person would never want to talk to me because they're popular, I'm now able to kind of think to myself like, no, that's not true. That's not how the real world works. This is all in your head. You've created these labels for people that don't actually exist. People are more than just popular, or just a jock, or just a nerd, or whatever. People have super multi-level personalities, which seems so easy to understand now. I guess just because I had that mindset for so long and from such a young age and internalized my self-deprecation so much that sometimes in the moment it's still hard for me to remember that. But honestly, what I've learned in the past few months is almost anyone will be nice to you and will be your friend if you just talk to them, no matter what walk of life they come from. I'm going into college in two months. I'm really excited to have a clean slate, and I think the most important thing for me to remember is just that I'm no less than anyone else, and no one else is inherently worth any more than I am and just to give everybody a chance and like just not to label people right off the bat and get to know everybody as an individual because we really don't fit inside tiny boxes and labels even though I thought that for so long. Yeah.